Welcome to another video. Take a look where we are. Okay, for today's video, we're going to talk about composition. Composition is when you go outside and looking for something to take a photo. In this video, we're going to focus in a ways to looking for a better composition, better images. You know, in, in photography, there is a rules that all the most of the all, all photographers follow related to composition. I mean, there is some rules. Uh, we can follow these rules, we can break these rules. I like to break this rule to go go more than the, the usual. So I think for today we go to talk, we go to focus in find good composition, looking for the, the corners, looking the, looking the, the trees. And in this way we can we can show you how how get really good images. Only look in your, your landscape in front of you and try to see some spots in this image to focus your photography. For today we're going to use a wide, wide lens and not too wide lens so we can focus in specific areas. So we are right here to the place. I had to go following this, the stairs. You can see there is a beautiful place here. So to arrive at this place, we have to pass to this place. This place is like a place to eat. Parador is in Spanish. Here we start to, to go up. As you can see where we are. So here we go. Here is a really the people who live here and take care of this place. They protect this area, so the people when came here, they need to take taking care about the, the place. No really trash behind of them. I mean, the good of this is is maintained the same place for all the people here all the people they can want to go here and and spend a good moment you see this kind of the wood put there i mean it's for something i'm not sure for what
So for today's video, we go to focus in this beautiful landscape we have here. So for this this photo, we have to use this this veranda. Sorry, I don't know what is in English the name of that. See here, what are my, my settings in the camera? I go to try three photos. With these three photos, I go to get better quality in the image from the from the shadows, from the brightness. So the, finally, we have to merge this this content in the Lightroom and Photoshop. So take a look to these settings. So what I've been doing here is try to focus this image in something in the border, left, in the right corner. So for this shot, I go to use a wide, wide lens. So my idea for this shot is combine three photos. So in this way, I have to get more quality in the image. Uh, let me focus here. Let me set three images. Let me here. I go to set the focus to the infinite. So in this way, I can see. I go to use the bracketing techniques to take some picture here. Let me put the camera in the good place. I go to set my camera for low, uh, lower ISO. As I tell before, I go to try, take three photos. I go to take this, the shooter to take three photos so we can combine the three photos in one. So what I've been doing here is try to talk another photo more to the right, so in this way I can get all the scope. So my, my idea for the end is get a view, huge image. I go to use some extra time to get another shot from these rocks there. I don't know if you can see there, but as you can see there, there is a beautiful corner. Maybe we can get something with this background and the rocks and the woods there. Right to the place. Take a look in this place. We need to speak slowly here. Look at this place. So as you can see, there is a beautiful world here. You see the bees has on his own nest there, or maybe, I'm not sure is there a bee. Maybe it's another kind of insect. I see there. So we can go focus here in the, in the walls. We go to try to get some images between these rocks and this darkness area here. So I think we can get a good image here. Again, I'm going to use my lower ISO, upper 240, three shots. I forget set the timer. This way we can push all together, merge all the photos and get good brightness. this area there. I'm going to 
focus a little more. As you can see, it's a beautiful place, this. Really nice. It's not too far away from Montevideo. It's almost two hours or three. It's really, really nice place to come here and take good pictures. So again, I, I, I focus in the wall. I focus on this natural rock. And this is a result. So my next shot, I want to try to get this, this roof, this wall of roof of walls. You can see beautiful, beautiful base. Six seconds shot, you know, the camera takes many seconds to get the, the really quality image. Six seconds for each image. It's a lot, you know, it's waiting for the next shot. Sorry, 25 seconds, the, the three shots, you know, it, it's a, a dark place. So in this place, the camera need more, get more light. So it's taking almost 25 seconds to take the photo. Beautiful. As you can see now, I go to focus in the, in the floor of the cave. So I try to get these green colors in the, in the, in the floor. But for this shot, I had to modify a lot of settings because there is a lower light here. So for this composition, I go to use the right, the right corner, the bottom of the photo. So, I go to follow this line with the corner of the photo so the viewer can see the dip of this photo. Again, two shots. The first six seconds, six seconds. The second almost 50 seconds. The last picture, 25 seconds. You know, it takes a lot of time to the camera to get a really good image. For, okay, the camera is still taking the photo, you know, it's not finished yet. We cannot shake the camera in this moment. The camera needs to stay. Okay, perfect. So you see, the last shot is really nice. Let me check the results. Okay, for the next shot, I go to go deep in the cave. I go to try to look, looking for some good place to put the camera. You know, we cannot speak loudly here because there is bats. In the night, these bats go away. And in the morning, he came to sleep. It's his cave. They live here, so we need to stay calm and not speak loudly. You know, usually I take photos with low ISO, but here I have a lot of problems to take using low ISO because uh, as you can see, there is not too much light in this place. So I have to use more ISO. I think right now is I am using 125 the ISO to take the photos. And the camera is take a lot to take the photo, almost 13 seconds. Okay, as usual, I take three photos, different runs. Okay, I think it's really nice. So let me show you this amazing place that we have here. Let me go uh, here. We can go following this cave here. As you can see, let me put the camera in angle that you can see what amazing place here. We have these rocks. We have this natural wall here. As you see, these rocks are getting light from the top. If I go to the top of the place, 
you will see here, there is a beautiful place here. Look at this green, green rock there. Look at the water. We have a, a lot of water. Come down. You fall from the from the hole of these rocks. Look at what nice rocks we have here. I think we can get a really good images. Okay, I hope you can see me here. I'm maybe I got to remove this the filter here. One second. CPL here for the GoPro. Look at this amazing place. Okay, the first shot I go to make is go to try to get these rocks in some kind of, of shot. There's a lot of water here came from the roof, so I had to avoid, avoid break my camera again. <laughs> so what I'm to do in here is try to get some good images using the, the, the little load, the, uh, light that we have here. So I go to Try to use this natural light in the top to get this rock in my shot. Let me focus here the image. I go to set my image. I go to set my image to two seconds. I go to my, my shoulder. Let me show what is my my image here. And you can see, I think we have a good, great angle here. The camera is take a lot, almost 30 seconds to take the photo. You see the water inside, behind of my lens. Because there is a water there, it's coming. The camera is still taking the photo. Okay, just finish. Whoa. So the next I go to make is try to get some photos from, from the top. So the next I go to try here is trying to focus to the top. You can see what nice is this green color in the rocks there. I go to try to follow this line with the camera so we can get a good brightness and good light from the top. The camera is still trying to take the photo. You know, it's almost 30 seconds right now. My concern is not over both. Okay, I'm able to make some tests before take the final photo.
You know, it's a little difficult to take some photos here because there is a lot of water came from the top and this water is, is heating my lens. So I get some wear results that you can see. As you see. As you can see here, we have a beautiful rocks variations here. So I hope you use some of this for me, my composition here. So I like to take some picture here, following these rocks lines. So as you can see here, I go to take, take three photos here with different range. I go to take the first one following this composition here in the, in the roof of this cave. So right now I have my ISO, lower ISO, upper to 14. I have three seconds for each photo, but when the camera starts to take photos, we go to change the, the time that is the photo is going to take. So the first is three seconds. Three photo, the second are one sec. Second photo. The last photo is around 13 seconds. As you can see, the time the camera takes to take really good images. So the camera is go to looking for the best brightness here. Again, I go to repeat the process. I see really nice rocks here with these different shapes. You know, it's really nice here. So maybe we can get a really good image here. You know, sometimes this camera is different than I had before because the, the bracketing time is 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 has some problem and lose the, the three photos. I had to go with my finger and hit again the shutter button to to take another photo instead of the take the, the three photos each other. Okay, we can continue. So we finish with this this spot, the cave spot. So we continue. We go to for there for this spot. You see, it's not. Easy path, but we can make a small time. I think it's a it's a path to the top of this small mountain. I mean, here is the name is Cerro. I'm not sure in English what is the correct name for this. Look at this. This place here, interesting. So I hope to reach the top of this cerro in a small time you know always is the same with this path go walking to the top is easy the problem is when you go down because you are tired your muscles not respond in some way that when you uh, go to the top. So, but it's really nice, really funny. Uh, and I like adventure. So I think we almost reached the top. Uh, maybe time. Continue. Oh, let me rest for a minute. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, really, we are really 
in the top. We must continue. If you follow me from previous video, uh, I've been talking about this. Uh, I'm a I'm poorly place. Uh, a lot of people came here to visit the place. So to take photos, maybe sometimes it's not the best. Getting a lot of people around you. you I'm taking some photos some, some minutes ago. And uh, I get some people around me looking what I might doing. You know, for the people see a person talking in English here in Uruguay, maybe it's a little strange. So the people can hear, ask me questions about what I've been doing, why I, I'm, I'm recording videos, why, why I, I, I'm taking some time, a long time to take the photos. I have to explain my techniques. My uh, Some people like what I've been doing. I don't, each person has his own hobby. You need to discover what is your hobby and spend money in this hobby. It's cost is not cheaper. The photography is, is, is expensive. Uh, the photography, uh, uh, if you would change lens, if you want to more lens to get some different kind of photos, it's really expensive. Uh, but when you came here to this beautiful place and you take photos, you enjoy this, this money you spend in this. I back to my home with these images, with the recording images I, I, I take right now. And I, I edit this, this photo to compile a video and it's like awesome for me, it's really, really funny. I enjoy this. And if you enjoy something, you can make good things. You can see here, it's really nice this place. You know, the people live together in the small cities, in the flats, in apartments, one behind of other, <laughs> in the roof of the other person. I mean, there is a lot of open place. Come on, why we need to live together in the cities? <laughs> But, uh, you know, the people can hear and uh, take pens and write, write names in the rocks. I don't see if you see, but Gael Grios, Gael Grios can hear and write his name here. I mean, this is necessary. Come on, come on. Another, another name here, Eric Rios. You know, can hear, enjoy the, the view, enjoy the moment. It's not need to leave your trash here, write something in, in the walls, in the in the in the woods. Come on, please. <laughs> we continue. We're still in the top of this mountain. There is a lot of path here to follow, but I will try to keep the main path. So I bring with me something to eat. I'm looking for a spot and eat something and enjoy the view. As you can see, the view is really nice here. I hope you enjoy with me this, this journey. Small trip, I mean, weekend trip. <laughs> I talked about this in, in the past. If you write, if you if you work eight hours a day for some company, something like that, you cannot go get outside and take some pictures. You need to use your weekends. Okay, I'm here. I enjoy my time. I hope you can use your time in something you you like it. I mean, it's the most important. Uh, you, we need to rest. To, to, to get strong and start the week with a, a really big smile in the face and working in what we are doing, our job, the best possible. Or, you know, I think I lost. Let me see. Oh, 
I see a, an arrow in the, in the path. Seems the people that's taking care about this play is put this kind of warnings to not lose. You, you know, if you go there and go to the wrong path, you go to, you you can get in problems to go back to the main path. So the best is keeping the main path and try to spend good time. I like this tree there. You see the tree, the tree. This tree, maybe I can get a good picture. Let me see if I can find uh, a okay, good place to take the photo. Maybe make a... You see there in the background, there is some mountains and some rocks. Maybe I can get some com good composition with this, this tree there. I go to try. Okay, I keep walking here. I hope I get some good images of this tree. I'm not sure right now because I don't have my computer here to see the, the picture. You know what this warning means? You trash come with you. So I'm here in the top of the world. I keep trying to strangle with the composition. Um, look at my view. Nice. So right now I've been thinking maybe good composition can be this this rock I have the here. You see this rock with this corner here. Okay, maybe I can get a good image. I already set the, the, the camera here. So in this way I can focus in this corner and get a really good background maybe we can turn a little dark the background after to improve our photos so for that I've been set my my settings in the camera I've been using three photos I've been using low ISO on this occasion you see we have a cloudy dark maybe with something some sun in the, in the zone can improve the shots, but I'm not sure if I can get the right light right now. I keep on trying. What we go, I go to try is go there to these rocks and take good composition there from there. So come with me. You know, I have to take care about this place. It's not easy to walk. <laughs> you see the top I am? Okay, I think you see there, this is my previous location here in this mountain. So I go to try to take some pictures here maybe the best is try to play with this this dry pad here this is this pad the it's a highway no highway no sorry it's a car pad <laughs> right now i don't get the really name and i try to play with these rocks in the bottom so maybe i can get a good composition with these rocks in the bottom and this path driving the the look of the viewer to the horizon. There is an eagle, you see there, really big. Uh, I tried to get with my 500 zoom lens, but I don't get so lucky. Maybe I will try it again in some, in a way. Here. So I go to sit here on these rocks and I want to try to point my lens to this area there. 
I go to try to play with these rocks and the, the pad hit there. You see there is, I'm not sure is the camera, you will see there is a farm there. Maybe I can uh, join to my composition. Uh, I go to take two, two kinds of picture here. One of the, one of, is a vertical, another is horizontal. So, you know, it's a really cloudy day. So maybe I can play with this spot where the, the light, the right light is hitting the, the floor. You see there in the bottom, there is some kind of swimming pool or something like that in this place. It's for people in his vacation can here um, spend good time. But I don't care that, I like the place. I like, this is what I like. Okay, I get some fresh news. Seems not far away from here, it's raining a lot. So, you see the clouds behind of me. So maybe it's, it's time to go back. There is a way to go back, a short way, but I don't remember exactly where is the, the, the path to go there. So I am looking how I can go back. Look at this, this rock there. How oh, interesting. Looks really awesome. You see this place behind me is the top where we we go in the beginning of this video. Remember the, the picture that we took in the cave? So it's here, it's down there. Somebody has put these ropes here to knock up there. But you can see how deep is, is that. So I find my day. The, the path to go back since there is some signal here I have to follow with this one uh, and this one is the, <laughs> the path to go back I say I have a, a really huge backpack here with a lot of weight to make this maybe not the best but take a look to this path it's like a we are near to the, the cave, but we are surrounding the cave. Let me see. I go correctly here. Yes. Okay, if somebody you came here, I recommend this way is shortly. That's the path I went from the beginning. You can go from this would uh, go back here and go to the mountain for this short way. Look at how nice this green color here, this rock. So this is the end of the path. We can back to the cave. Remember the cave that 
we talking before. Take a look to this warning. It's pretty clear. Very bats, bats fly here. We cannot speak lowly. No, we cannot speak uh, hard. Low, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we cannot speak low. You cannot use a torch. You cannot take photos with flash. And you cannot, I don't know what is this. Something with with your hand and take, ah, taking some rocks. You can not get souvenirs from here. Okay, very nice place. I recommend to visit here. Okay, I think for today I get some new images, really different that we take in the past. Uh, we use some kind of techniques for composition to looking for the looking for the correct place to the, the photo. So I have to make a stop here in the in the street. You see there? Look at this rainbow. There is two rainbows. One next to the each one. You see? <laughs> really nice. So I, I go to Harry to set up my tripod to see how you can get a good image here. Harry, hurry up! Okay, fellows, for today I think it's all. I hope you enjoy this, like me. Really, for me, it's, it's really good. Stay here, spend good time. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and keep on tracking.